I'll set the coordinates for Gallifrey, shall I? Why Gallifrey? Well, that's where we're going, isn't it? We have the power to do anything we like. Absolute power over every particle in the universe. Everything that has ever existed or ever will exist. As from this moment. Are you listening to me, Romana? Yes, of course because I'm listening. if you're not listening, I can make you listen. Because I can do anything. As from this moment, there's no such thing as free will in the entire universe. There's only my will because I possess the key to time. Doctor, are you all right? Well, of course I'm all right. I suppose I wasn't all right. <sighs> now, this thing makes me feel in such a way I'd be very worried if I felt like that if I was somebody else feeling like this about that. Do you understand? Yes. What do you understand? That the sooner we hand this over to the White Guardian, the, the better. better. My congratulations to you, Doctor. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You performed your task with admirable dispatch. The universe has much to thank you for. Whoa. Well, sir, it was a pleasure, sir. Wasn't it a pleasure, Romana? Doctor, yeah? that's not the president. What's the president got to do with it? I can change my form or shape at will, my dear child. I appear to you as the president, so as not to alarm you. Just be careful who you're talking to. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> you have the key to time, Doctor. Oh, I have. I have indeed, sir. Do you like it? <laughs> Do I like it? Yes. Yes. I suppose you could say that I like it. Yes. We're very proud of it, sir. Aren't we, Romana, proud of it? What? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, what happens now, sir? You said, if I remember our first conversation, that once it was assembled, it would stop the entire universe and enable you to restore the natural balances of good and evil throughout the whole of the universe. That is correct, Doctor. So, will you release the key to me that I may do this? Ah, uh, certainly, sir. Yes, certainly, of course. Ah, uh, key to time, I command you. Could I ask you something, sir? Yes, Doctor? It's just a well that the key's already assembled, sir. I mean, couldn't you restore the balances now? Yes, Doctor, but I must have the key for safekeeping. It is an awesomely powerful key. Oh, yes, sir, yes, and mustn't be allowed to fall into the wrong hands. I quite understand, sir, yes. Key to time! I command that... What about the sixth segment? What about it, Doctor? Oh, well, I mean, as you know, sir, the sixth segment was, in fact, a human being. And, I mean, if the, if the pieces are maintained in their present pattern, it means it should be in prison forever, sir. Well, that is, of course, regrettable. <laughs> Very regrettable. But with the fate of the universe at stake. Quite. You can't be too careful. I quite understand. Key to time! I command that you stay exactly where you are. Doctor! You have fully activated all the TARDIS's defenses. We can't be too careful, can we? And it would be a terrible tragedy for the universe if it suddenly turned out that I was colorblind. Doctor, release the key to me immediately. Unable to distinguish between the White Guardian and the Black Guardian. Doctor, what do you mean? Look! Don't you see? The White Guardian would never have had such a callous disregard for human life. Of course. Astra, the sixth segment, he would have dispersed it immediately. Doctor, you shall die for this!